Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. Cyanogen Mod 10.1 Nightly was just released for the Samsung Galaxy S3. What does it look like? How does it perform? Is it stable enough for you to run as your daily driver? Let's go find out. Here's our Samsung Galaxy S3. We've rooted it, we've installed Clockwork Mod Recovery, we've installed ROM Manager, and now we have finally flashed CM10 Nightly. We've got our nice little Cyanogen Mod statistics up at the top that we can opt out of if we want. We also have our nice little Jelly Bean quick settings here. We can go into the, uh, the deeper settings. Now I've already gone into about phone and turned on developer mode so we could turn on some extra fun stuff but you can see that this is the CM 10.1 from December 17th nightly. This is the first 10.1 nightly that, uh, that they released for this phone at least that I know of and that's been stable enough to actually uh, run and show you a video. They've had previous versions out that were just CM 10 which were not the 4.2.1 as you can see here. Just so you know, this is the GTI 9300 version of the Galaxy S3. There are nightlies for a few, if not most of the other ones out there already. So what can we do with this? Well, other than what we were just showing you here, you've of course got all of the trebuchet features, nice and quick, very responsive. Come back into settings, you've got your Cyanogen mod settings that you can do in here, including theming. I don't have any themes installed, but we could very quickly and easily install a theme on it. If we go back, we can change our lock screen up. Of course, lock screen has some CM10 specific things to it that have kind of been duplicated or replaced with uh, all of the new stuff that's in, of course, uh, Jelly Bean 4.2. Let's look at launcher. We can come into our home screen set, however many number of home screens that we want. All of this fun stuff, transition effect, I always like these. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do something fun, shall we? Let's do a spin. And when we go back home, it's going to take just a minute because it has to relaunch the launcher. But now you can see that it kind of rotates things in and out. Neat little effect like that. Very smooth, very fluid. Something that you don't see every day. Back into settings again and let's see what else we can do with Cyanogen Mod. Got some advanced settings in here that we can get into. Enable HSDPA, UPA, or HSDPA only, UMTS only. So some interesting neat things we can do there. Haptic feedback where we can modify the vibrator intensity. We'll leave it at 50% which is the default. Go on back. Profiles are something that I love with Cyanogen Mod ROMs. If you've got different settings for home or work or even car, you can set those up and then quickly toggle between them just by pressing and holding your power button and choosing your profile there. Or you can do it with NFC if you've got NFC tags pre-programmed to do that. Of course, in performance, you've got options in here. You can go in and change all kinds of stuff. This is using the Pegasus Q governor, but you can change that to any of the others. We just ran an article about different governors and how they affect your speed over at pocketnow.com. If you missed that, head over to pocketnow.com. You'll want to make sure that you read up on that. We can also then change the minimum and maximum once that is enabled in the ROM. This version it is not, so it's pre-configured to minimum and maximum. Currently, it's bouncing between 200 and 400 megahertz with that Pegasus Q governor in there. So overall, I've only had about 20, 30 minutes to use this. I haven't noticed any hangups, anything that I would not uh, expect out of a, a nightly ROM. It's very stable. It's very fast, as you can see in there. It does everything that I need it to. And as far as I can tell, there are no features that have not yet been implemented or aren't working. I'm connected up to Wi-Fi. I don't have a SIM in right now, which is why I'm not getting that. But uh, as far as all of the reports go, it looks like everything works just the way you would expect it to. So what do you think? Do you like what you're seeing here with CM 10.1 on the SGS3? If so, give the video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please head over to the article at pocketnow.com. We'd like to keep the conversation going over there, if at all possible. If there's a feature that you like about Cyanogen Mod that we didn't show off here, make sure you also note that in the comments over there. Showing off CM 10.1 on some of our favorite devices. 
For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.